Hi, and welcome to the shop for another Tool Review Tuesday. 4321 Woodworking. I'm Chris, and today we're going to review this thermometer clock. Um, full disclosure, I did get it from a company. I requested it from them. They send it to me for free for an honest review, and I have recorded that review, so let's go in and get it shown. So looking at it right now, my phone reads 31 outside, but the outside temperature gauge is right in the sun and on the building. So, and uh, we've got 45 in here and 39 on outside. Let's go check the other temperature gauge in here and see what it says. So I'd say our indoor temp is about right. So after the heater's been going, or the wood stove, we're at 58 in here, which is what the back thermostat is reading also. So I'm getting the same inside as I am outside. Um, I didn't set the time and the date when I moved it. I could. Um, I'll probably do that at some point here. So overall, the PT-201 series weather station, I think, will be a nice addition to my shop. Um, the inside temperature has been accurate. The only time I was getting low readings is when I had it over there. And I think I, when I finally felt around it, it was like it was reading 20 degrees low, 10 degrees low. I felt there was a heavy draft over there. Old shop. So... I still think it was correct. That's why I moved it here. That's why the time and the dates are off. I'll get those set. Um, eventually, it's going to get a permanent home somewhere up a little higher on a wall, probably. Just so I can see the clock. Maybe even up here, but i got to build a shelf here and stuff. So, we'll see. Um, outside temp, sometimes it's really close. Sometimes it's a little off. Today, it's a little off, but it's in the direct sun right now on the building. So, I think I'm getting a lot of heat off of that. The outside temperature sensor, sensor, I think I may need to move a little bit and play around with it, but I think that's where you put it. So when nothing's been going on and it's been cold in here, cold out there, I've been getting the same readings on both when it's been all stabilized and cold. So uh, the relative humidity outside is pretty close. It's a little lower than what my phone is telling me, but I don't, I don't know enough about humidity to know what's going on there. You know, if it's where I have it positioned, Again, being right against the wall or whatnot, so that may be affecting it. I do like that it has the relative humidity inside the shop. Um, I'm curious to see how that plays out, what it does this summer, if it gives me any idea of how I should be storing my wood. I may move it to my other shop for a while where I have a dehumidifier running and see what the relative humidity runs in that shop using this also at some point. So it's another feature. Um, I do like the clock on it. I do tend to get a little lost as to what time it is out here, so that's a nice feature. So, all in all, I would recommend this. I'll leave a link in the description below. Go ahead and check it out, and thanks for watching. So, my conclusion on the weather station. Um, I've had it up for another couple of weeks. I mounted it on the wall. I'm really enjoying it. I do need to spring it ahead for daylight savings time. I forgot to do that, but other than that, I like having the temperature gauge inside the shop, especially when I'm burning the wood. I can see where I'm at, what I come into, so forth. Uh, the humidity is still something you have to be determined if that's beneficial or not, but it's on there. I like having a clock in here. I didn't have one before, which I know I could have easily just gone out and bought a clock, but now I have it. And I like that I can see the outside temperature. So, all in all, I would recommend it, especially for the price. You know, it's inexpensive. I've got it plugged in with a you know USB to cable wire, so I think it um, it does take batteries. I do know that it does. I don't think so. I would recommend it if you want something quick, simple, and inexpensive for your shop to give you time, temperature, inside and out, and humidity. So I don't know how I'm going to use the humidity yet, but that's not for a lack of having it. It's for a lack of I don't know what to do with it yet. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed that video, go ahead and click on these other tool reviews I've got here. And take a look at those also on useful items for your shop. Also hit that subscribe button and be notified when more reviews and projects come out. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.